Let's talk about rumors. I'm John Barry, and welcome to another episode of Star Wars Talk. And, well, we're going to be talking about the recent rumors about an alleged, about reported, about basically the rumor that Ewan McGregor has signed a contract to appear as Obi-Wan in something. And I'm going to leave that at something is because literally the rumor can change based off of your source. Some people may be thinking or hearing that it's a movie, like a single movie or a three movie series or a Disney Plus series, like television style. Like you could go to probably ten different Star Wars YouTube channels and you'll all be getting slightly different information. It's because it's a rumor and rumors like a game of telephone, the farther they go along, the more likely they are to change from the root rumor. For all we know what I'm not sure how it started, but it could have literally just started by Luke's film and Ewan McGregor were talking about the possibility of signing a contract for Obi for Ewan McGregor to reappear as Obi Wan someday. Something as basic as that just talks could have, by the time we've heard about it, blown into something much more. But um, what I think really kind of highlights this, and because. The, the rumors of an Obi-Wan movie or Disney Plus series has been going on since before Rogue One's title was announced. It's been literally the thing that has been the most rumored thing in the Star Wars fandom since, well, The Force Awakens, probably even before that. But I mean, two tweets by Yoda Bauer of the Star Wars Refuge r really help put it into context of how this rumor is going is being, you know, kind of perceived a little bit, but also how those who understand a rumor is a rumor, how this rumor has been going so long that like, even official confirmation may be a bit skeptical for you. Like, like, even McGreg, one of the tweets, um, which he did was to say that if even McGreg and Pinky Story even showed a picture of him on the set, we would still, like, her specifically, like, us in general, would be like, yeah, but really? And then she did another one where it's on, it's out on Blu-ray and still be doubting if the rumor is true. It's like, because this rumor has been going on for so long, like, is it true or is it just the same old rumor just getting, you know, a new breed of life? Oftentimes, you see that sometimes with fan series too, like 10, no, maybe not 10, but like a couple years ago, it came out, maybe had a brief split the popularity but didn't go much farther and then now the, the series has been debunked or something or even if it hasn't some big out media outlet on YouTube picks it up and it becomes insanely popular despite it not being the best series anymore. Um, one of the Harry Potter series that um, Ron Reasley was a basically used the time turns to travel back in time to become Dumbledore. When that series was created it was decently solid because that was, you know, before the, we knew the time turn was destroyed, before the Destiny Howlers even came out. So back then, when that theory came out, shortly after probably Prisoner of, of Azkaban or even um, Goblet of Fire, that theory, okay. But now, it, it's, it's stupid because we know about Dumbledore's past. So yeah, and some people probably will try to explain it away, but... Taking the evidence from those books, we can say that's now false. There's no chance of that being true. Now, when it comes to rumors in Star Wars, they can have the same rebreath of fresh life in them, even after they've died off. Because, as I said, this Kenobi rumor has been going on since pretty much The Force Awakens, I would say. Every so often, it gets a spurt of popularity, and then it dies off. This rumor seems a little more solid than some of the other rumors, but it's still a rumor, and we gotta treat rumors responsibly, treat them as rumors. Now, would I love a Kenobi story? Of course. You no, know, I got to go see, you know, the Life and Legend of Obi-Wan Kenobi from Legends, it's a children's novel. Also, I got to go see more, nearly all the books of the Jedi Friends series, and they focus on Obi-Wan, and I certainly enjoyed them. The Kenobi novel, too, that's not a children's novel. I don't have a copy of it, which surprised me. My library does. In fact, I shelved it today at the library. Didn't think to pick it up, so I could have it in the side of this video. But, um, yeah. It's like, 
Kenobi is a character we all want to see. Now, I would enjoy seeing Kenobi again, you know, in the new media. Um, we did get a little bit of Kenobi in Rebels, but not much. So, it would be nice to have Obi-Wan Kenobi appeal. Now, how we could do it, I don't know, but I have a, a suggestion. So, Disney, if you're listening and you're not quite sure if you want to do Obi-Wan Kenobi related, you know, TV show or movie, here's an idea for a television show. Have an older Obi-Wan Kenobi on Tatooine writing in his journal that we eventually see Luke reading in the Star Wars comic. So, have it literally be Obi-Wan writing in his journal because that journal is going to be full of a lot of stuff that we don't get to see in the com comics. So, we, literally, the series could be literally Obi-Wan reflecting on events of his past through writing the journal that he would one get, day give to Luke. So, we could talk about things from when Obi-Wan was a pad one like we got to see in the Jedi Apprentice series of children's books back in Legends. And we can also see, you know, his interpretation of the events in the, in the prequel trilogy. So, we can see what he thought of of, you know, maybe of training Anakin and maybe even during the Clone Wars, more about his thoughts when he found out that Anakin was secretly married to Padme. I suspect he knew something was going on. So, like, we could even get some other characters that way. Could even be a neat way of doing a hybrid live action animation thing, too. I think it would be neat because you have Ewan McGregor playing an older Obi Wan Kenobi and voicing Obi Wan. No, writing in journal in live action, and then a 2D animation or something would be like the, would be like, you know, he's, right, he's writing them down, we're seeing the images in his mind, and I think that would be neat to do in an animated format. Because I think it would be a neat little combination to do, especially 2D animation, I think would be great for this. I don't know why, but I picture, you know, when you, because 2D animation gets more of a hand-drawn look. Definitely would want it to be a hand-drawn look of animation, kind of like Into the Spider-Verse, which I actually haven't watched. But, regardless, I think that would be neat. Will it happen? Probably not, but Lucasfilm, if you're interested, I think that's a good idea to do. You know, Obi-Wan literally recounting his life experiences into a journal, and have it be a combination of live action for the present, and maybe we can even have a few stories set in the present, too, on Tatooine, roughly, and then have have a, you no know, the flashback, which would be him writing in his journal about the past in animation. Because we can also see a little bit about, you no know, more between him and Duchess the Teen from when they were younger. Because we know something was going on there. And it would be so neat to see. Because this is just what I think would be neat. This is all based off of a rumor. So... And a rumor may not pan out. Let's just remember that. And of course, my idea... Would Duke's film even listen? I hope they would if they discover it. Who knows? The internet is a weird place after all. But yeah, I think it would be neat for us to explore Obi-Wan Kenobi's life. The life and legend of Obi-Wan. <laughs> kind of like this book. Because this does cover nearly all of all of um, Obi-Wan's life. And it does have a lot of him remembering back to when he was younger. But it's clearly set on Tatooine. Very much in the style, but... But I think... Like that kind of idea of storytelling. I think that would be neat. Will it happen? I'm going to say no. But... Who knows? There's always a possibility. But of course... Let's remember... This... The Obi-Wan Kenobi... Whatever... Is a rumor. Is a rumor clear and simple. And all we know about the rumor, the bare minimum of the rumor, is that Ewan McGregor something with Lucasfilm to do something with Lucasfilm. Talks, sign a contract, we don't know which. Um, movie, TV show, audio drama, I, who knows. We just know something related to Obi-Wan and Ewan McGregor and Lucasfilm. Those are the four, oh, not the four, the three points of the triangle. Obi-Wan, Ewan McGregor and Lucasfilm. Slash Star Wars. That's all we know. Anything else is pure speculation and rumor. Like, that's the bare minimum. It's like, I can't stress this enough. Rumors are rumors, and we should treat them as such, because they can get blown out of proportion and like a game of telephone. 
it may start out very simple, like, hey, even McGregor was talking with somebody at Lucasfilm. Be no, something like that. Or oh, a Lucasfilm employee told their friend that, hey, I saw Ewan McGregor today. I don't know why he was there. I just saw him. Maybe they're talking about something. That friend has another friend who says, hey, Ewan McGregor was at Lucasfilm. And I hear that they're talking about doing something. And then the next friend makes it that they artificial talks. And you go on through that chain. It's a game of telephone. So by the time us in the general public hears about it, who knows how much it has changed. And I think comparing rumors to a game of telephone is very apt. But I think I'm going to leave that there and I'm just going to say, rumors are rumors and treat them as such, don't treat them as fact. And also, let's remember that when it comes to speculation and rumors, let's always theorize responsibly. Because if we don't, well... We could get another Last Jedi situation on our hands. So I think I'm going to leave us at that. If you have any thoughts about rumors or what you would like to see done with the Obi-Wan character in the future by Lucasfilm, let me know. And what did you think of my idea? Because I really think it would be interesting to see a combination live-action animation Star Wars production. I really think that would be neat. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it at that. So. And before I leave you, I just want to say please consider liking the video if you enjoyed it. Or oh, dislike it if you didn't like it, that suits you both as well. Also, feel free to check me out on the socials, subscribe and ring the bell. And a bunch of the other links down in the description, you can go check them out. I would really appreciate it. And as always, have a good day, a good night, wherever you are. May the force be with you, always.